Hi Sagittarius, this is Kelly from Goddess Power Tarot, formerly Moon Pie Tarot. So I'm going to be doing your February 2019 love reading. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may not resonate, so if they don't, if after uh, at least listen through to the whole video because I'll be splitting it up into four different blocks of messages. So if nothing resonates, then it's just not for you. Okay, um, so. I'm going to start the way I'm doing the reading. I'm using the Rider Waite Tarot deck, the Rider Waite Mini. Oh, look, it's so like I, I shuffle. I use these cards so much they're falling apart. Then I have a, a new deck from Etsy called the Untamed Truth book created by Rachel Carangelo. These cards are just, they're beautiful. I love them. And I'll also clarify with the Romance Angels oracle deck okay if you guys want to get a personal reading for me there's a link in the description box below click on the inst get the instant go app from your iphone app store okay and you can reach me there you can do phone calls all kinds of readings one question readings whichever you prefer um i have um on that profile actually i'll show you you can see i have different services here that see i still have my old name moon pie um, I have different services that I offer. One question services. You could do um, a 30 minute phone call. I have full moon love spells and we just finished doing one. And uh, the next one is at the end of February. And then video readings, you can still get those as well. Okay, so definitely check that out if you're interested. If not, free readings are here for you. So whatever works. Okay, so let's get started Sagittarius with your love messages now love doesn't have to be romantic it could be family friends but if it comes out family or friends i'll tell you if, if it's a, a romance situation i'll tell you about that too okay hopefully we won't be blurry here all right let's start okay queen of cups sagittarius cancer scorpio pisces male or female and the chariot cancer so definitely cancer for some of you okay movement direct action um, with a water sign again male or female um, if it's a male this person's more in their yin beta energy okay um, so there could be travel to see a male or a female water sign now I know if you're listening and you're like well I know who my person is and they're not a water sign okay well they might be more predominant water in their chart somewhere you would have to do their birth chart they could be on a cusp so it could just and listen I know people say well there's no such thing as a cusp listen I'm immutable and there are it's nothing is black and white to me ever <laughs> I don't see things in black and white I see everything in gray um, could be yes could be no that's just how I I have strong convictions um, a few but I really believe in um, uh, the cusps I do because I really do feel you know I guess not to go off on a tangent here but You've got, you know, when the sun's at its peak, and then, you know, when the moon's at its peak, um, and then you've got, you know, we've got dusk and dawn. This, the sun just doesn't appear at, at, at its highest peak out of nowhere. It transitions. And so I firmly believe that with the transitioning of the signs from one to another, energies get picked up. That's, that's my personal view on that. Okay, anyway, so this... Um, I, I do feel a strong presence of cancer energy connecting to you. Okay, wherever. It could be in their Venus, could be their moon. And if you don't know that, then you don't know that. Um, but it could be a sun sign as well. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So let's clarify. Okay, this could be a reconciliation situation with this person. So this could be someone from your past. Um reaching out to you or you reaching out to them one or the other we also have the queen of wands which is so we could have a cancer leo cusp as well so um 
So you could, we could have like, you know, two energies happening here. Two people. Sagittarius, you could be reconnecting with a water sign from your past, but there could also be travel or meeting up with a fire sign. So there's two people here, male or female. If you're a male listening, the female has a black cat. One of them has a black cat, possibly the fire sign. This could also be your energy too here, where a water sign connects, it reaches out to you, wants to reconcile with you, and you go to see that person. There's travel here. Okay. Or they're coming to see you. <laughs> so that's the first set of messages. Okay. Let's move on to the next set. This too, um, if this is not you, this is my, my Leo card. So there could be a connection with a Leo strongly as well. Cancer Leo. Give me just a sec. I'm looking at something here. This also, this is a Valentine's Day thing happening here. Okay, look at those cherubs. Can you see them? Doesn't want to show. <laughs> what? Anyway, so she, there's, here we go. See those little cherubs? And that cherub looks like he's, it's holding a fish. So for some of you, this could be a Pisces. These are little uh, mermaid cherubs, too. So there could be like um, somebody's going to a beach or um, <laughs> could be meeting someone near water. Love, love struck kind of a situation. Flowers are given. Look at that. Are these, these look like, mm. <laughs> okay, these look like the, it looks like the Narcissus flower, so. And so this is definitely something happening in winter, okay, because she's got on like her gloves. Yeah, there's something happening here. Just watch out for somebody who's like a little full of themselves. I don't know that message is just coming through. I don't I don't know why that that flower it's just reminding me of the flower of narcissus. So you could be connecting with someone um or somebody could be connecting with you who's a little full of themselves. <laughs> but they give like the flower to make it seem like they're really being sweet, but they're really like very narcissistic. <laughs> That's so strange. Anyway, I mean, it might not be like, um, you know, it might not be someone who's diagnosed with like a severe personality disorder. They just might be a little egotistical. All right, I'm going to leave that there and move on to the next set of questions. Or um, Okay, so here we go with the King of Wands. Oh, and the Four of Wands. Okay, so if you're a male, Sagittarius, I'm definitely seeing here you're reconnecting with family or you are focusing, well, actually, <coughs> excuse me, you're not wholly focused on like commitment or marriage if you're a male because you're just kind of like looking away from that. Um, some of you, if this is tied in, some of you Sagittarius males may already be married or in a relationship, and but you're focusing on someone from your past, uh, looking back here, trying to connect. Maybe there's someone you get distracted from your marriage or your relationship. And so if anyone's cross-watching for a Sagittarius, they're not leaving the relationship. They're not, uh, at least I'm not seeing yet, or they're not leaving the marriage or the, f you know, the family situation. They're just kind of, somebody may be reaching out to them from the past 
It doesn't have to be romantic. It can just simply be a reconnecting with someone from the past and that person comes to see them. Okay, but they are distracted. So let's clarify. If you're a female listening, which most of my subscribers are, um, you could be tied to a fire sign as well. Perhaps some of you are connected to... A Leo or an Aries. Okay, could also be another Sag, a Sag Sag connection. Wow. Um, where you are, it's the same message where you're not really focusing on your relationship at this time or just because you're focusing on somebody else. Somebody else comes back from the past or you are not just generally not looking for a committed relationship at this time okay somebody is calling me who call I, I don't know how anybody calls me on my regular number I'm, I, I rarely give it out hold on let me shut this off okay so let's clarify the king of wands oh there's regret Ooh. And then the Knight of Cups. Some of you, okay, I'm, I'm just going to say this. There's a, there's a selection of you who are trying to hold on to your relationship with, with your partner, but your partner is missing someone from their past, or they're regretting or feel a sense of loss. They're still focusing. You may have someone you're connected to who has been pulling away lately, and um, they are pulling away from the family or the marriage or the commitment or whatever um, because they are, somebody's reaching out to them. There's something, if, I'm not seeing cheating here though. There's an energy here where your person is regretting something they did to someone from the past. they feel sorry and I feel like they're not really you think that so you may be making an offer or trying to hold on to the connection with them but it's not that they're leaving your your relationship or the marriage they're not doing that they just have some personal issue with someone from their past that either they need to make an amend to and it could be a family member or a friend um, it, it could be an ex that they need to apologize to this person. They've been thinking about it a lot and, and there is this energy where this person reaches out or they find something out about them and they need to like apologize. Maybe this person is ill and you could be kind of like keep offering your cup, keep offering your cup to try to get their attention but maybe it's just a matter of leaving them be for now so they can take care of what's going on okay I feel that more strongly I'm not picking up an energy here of cheating I am picking up distraction though Dist distraction from the relationship during February And you possibly also, because this person that you're connected to is distracting themselves or being distracted from your relationship, you may be getting, some of you are, are at the tail end of, the, of a marriage or the tail end of, a, of your commitment with, with the other, with your, in your partnership. And you may be getting an offer from another person to connect with them. A love offer of some sort and your your person is focusing elsewhere okay so that was the other person and again as I was saying it could also be you you may have some business from the past that you need to tie up um, or that you're feeling guilty about or you need to talk to someone um, somebody may be coming to see you as I was saying to offer friendship or an apology like you both have something here 
you're, you may be feeling bad about a situation that happened in the past. You're missing this person. You're regretting something. And they're coming in basically to, you know, say, hey, it's okay. You know, it's going to be okay. So there's a, there's a sense of like um, an amends being made here as well. So I'm going to move on. I spent way too much time on that section. Okay, the lovers is here, and the world. Mm, two major arcana. So somebody is making a decision. Now it could be also some of you are connecting with Gemini. Um, could also be connecting again with Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, or Aquarius. There's a decision here that needs to be made about a relationship. Whether to get in one, and some, something has to end in order to have a new partnership. Okay? So a decision about putting an end, closing the book on a relationship from the past, or finalizing and having a new beginning with someone else, or with someone new, if you're single and you don't have anyone else. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a walking away from a secure, a security type of a situation. You know, there's one thing. I feel these are two separate energies, really. Um, I feel, Sagittarius, you're in, like, you want partnership. You want security. You want um, safety. You want a good uh, marriage relationship where there's stability, okay? But in order to get that, you have to walk away and close the book on something else. So that may resonate for some of you, where you just feel like some of you are, are in relationships. It could tie into this. Some of you are in connections with, with people who just, it's not doing it. It's not working for you anymore, or it hasn't. Or you've just been dating people and it just hasn't been any, nothing has been working out. And I feel like you're, you may need to just actually walk away from, how can I say this? Your perception of the way you, the way you date if you're single. Okay. Where you've just you know, you keep meeting the same types of people. You may need to start changing up the type of people you're choosing. You know, we meet all kinds of people. We meet people who we're physically attracted to, mentally or emotionally attracted to. You might have a certain type that you've just always connected with or always felt, you know, this is what I'm looking for, this is what I'm looking for. Um, but you may not have ever found that actual, you know, that twin flame soulmate type of a connection because your, how can I say this? Your preferences have been limiting you. So I feel like it's time for you to look outside of the box. Look outside of what you've... Um, always been looking for and I feel like when you walk away from these same types of people that you've been connecting with over and over and over you may actually find that you do connect with someone that will bring you that stability or at least financial security I mean hey if you can if you're a gold digger there you go but I feel like there's an opportunity here for you to and this is for my singles, for you to actually meet someone who's completely different than every other person you've been involved with. And that opportunity will come when you walk away from sticking with the same types of people, right? Because I know you, and I know that you meet, a, I know you're very sociable and adventurous, and I know you meet a lot of people, um, but I feel like you meet a lot of, a lot of the same 
Okay, so if you're in a partnership with someone already, there may be a decision to get married, or maybe a decision to move, um, to do a huge financial thing together that will bring you great uh, financial reward. And this will cause you to become more secure in your emotional self, okay? I feel like some of you will actually, some of you may get like an, a proposal or get proposed to, um, something coming up around Valentine's Day if you're female, um, where you won't have to work anymore. This person that you connect with, um, I feel like they will be so financially secure that you will have that financial security with this person, okay? And this might be someone, believe it or not, who I think is actually very similar to you, but not the same. And that's why I was seeing a lot of that, um, maybe changing up your preferences or, or not limiting yourself to a certain look or a certain behavior you know um it's the what was that movie called pretty woman i'm not saying if you're a male you should start dating prostitutes i'm not saying that i'm not not saying that either i'm using the um analogy as the concept of opposites something different someone different than what you're used to. All right, again, I spent way too much time on that. Let me move to the next set. Okay, and just remember, some of these can tie in, or some of these are just completely separate messages. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm trying to reach as many people as I can. Okay, so the Emperor is here, and that's the Aries card. Ooh, and the Six of Wands, victory. So there's definitely, and an, there's fire, as we were saying earlier, um, King of Wands and the Emperor. So somebody's going to be successful with an Aries. There'll be some type of a victory attached to this Emperor, okay? Some of you might already be connected to an Aries. Um, I'm going to have to leave this one for the females because this is definitely a male or there's some type of, um, if you're a male or a female, there's some type of a connection to a father figure or someone in authority. You could be taking on the emperor energy as well, where you're sitting in a winning position. There's a military, there's, um, like a, someone in high-ranking military, someone in um, CEO of a company, someone that's at the very, very top that runs everything, okay? There's some kind of a win. Some of you are connected to someone who um, is coming home from a tour, a military tour. Um, they're involved in some kind of a a coup or some kind of a military situation where there's a win connected to that. There's some type of a win connected to someone or something in an authority position here. Some of you are connected to um, a very reserved type of celebrity who's, who's, who's quiet, you know, like they're not flashy. But this person, you know, with the Six of Wands here, is always receiving well. Let's clarify this, Emperor. There could be a celebration uh, surrounding this Emperor. Emperor is higher than a king. So this is like the head honcho. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. Interesting. Now this is something different coming out. So we have the Seven of Cups. The Sun card, Leo. Okay, and you, some of you are definitely connecting with um, an Aries who has commitment issues. This person is always... It's strange because the emperor is not usually, he, he's pretty commanding and, and, you know, he usually, he's like, you know, he knows what he wants. He's pretty confident and sure of himself, but something's going on with this emperor. He's trying to figure something out. There's something, um, he's trying to figure you out, Sagittarius, he or, or it's, or it's a, um, if you're male, it's a female that has that position of authority there's something intriguing about you they can't commit to other things in their life because there's something intriguing about you and they want to win you over they want to celebrate they feel that you are a very positive person for them there's an element here of a child as well so there could be trying to find out about this this person you're connected to is waiting to find out if this if there's a pregnancy if there's if this is a boy or a girl there's an ultrasound coming up and I can't tell you which it is but whatever it is it could possibly be a girl but whichever sex there's a huge celebration coming and huge happiness everyone celebrating so there could be like a gender reveal there's also a father figure here in connection to this gender or this birth that's um really excited to find out like this usually you know i mean not usually but you know the mom is usually like she's like ah oh, you know but the, this father is like crazy about this he can't wait he can't, he's waiting he's waiting and he's waiting and he's not even like paying attention to anything else going on in his life this is all he's focused on as well huge victory huge celebration happening here um Apart from the pregnancy thing, or the birth, or the revelation about the sex of the of the baby, um, somebody, as I was saying, somebody coming home from a military tour. There's a surprise party that's being planned. Um. And I kind of feel like this emperor is like, oh, God. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, I don't bring all this attention on me. Like, this person doesn't, like, I, I, they don't show a lot of emotion. And I feel like when they, when the surprise happens, you know, like, at first he'll be like, ah. Oh. But then he's just like, and? <laughs> I don't know why I have to tell you that. But if you're planning a surprise party for someone don't get overly crazy or like oh they're gonna love it because i don't really think this guy's gonna really care too much he's just gonna be happy to be home that's all i have to say about that and there's also someone some of you have a father who's coming home from the hospital as well and uh it's a celebration it's happiness every there's like um it's positive news there's um um happiness about this Somebody's been in the hospital for a really long time. And they're finally coming home. Somebody's coming home. Okay, I'm just going to pull some cards from the Untamed Truth deck because my reading is going way too long. Distortion. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. It's such, a, it's such a gloomy card. Look at that. Oh, it reminds me of like The Walking Dead. Oh, fuck. All right. So what does this mean? Distortion. Let's see. 17. 
Okay, so, oh, lies, false understanding, assumptions, negative thinking, and stress. Something may be feeling pretty off right now. Before you act, try to understand the difference between your intuition and your fear, as they both manifest right in the gut and can feel quite similar. Until you know for sure, don't take action. Instead, take time to clear your head, exercise caution, but don't make any assumptions or jump to conclusions. Wait for this time and confusion to pass. Try to see the picture as clearly as you can, but withhold your judgment and action. There's something you don't know yet, or a truth is about to be revealed to you. You may not be the only one feeling this sense of illusion, so trust that the truth will come to light. Okay? And try to see things from a new perspective or wait until there's clarity. There's no point to stress over the situation. Perception controls our reality. And I think I was saying that here. Take another look from another viewpoint and the truth will soon be restored to you. And then the, the oh fuck card. Ugh. 59. Hold up. It's interesting. Okay, so... this card the book look it says well shit well shit things either didn't go quite right or they could be headed in that direction sometimes we need a loud wake-up call in order to learn the lessons we need to learn and major upheaval is one way to do that that's kind of like the tower card okay um, allow the dust to settle and you will see what it is you have to work with it may be time to rebuild something new, perhaps without meaning to. The situation will cause you to give something up that was no longer serving you. You may be changing directions, but at least it's for the better. So there may be some pretty big changes in your life and some major endings you have to face. Try to detach from the current situation and let it be for now. Try to see what you could build from this mess instead of mourning what might be lost. Chaos often precedes creation. Your plans may have been disrupted, but it might give you the sudden burst of insight you've needed all this time. How you respond to this situation will make all the difference for your future. I don't really go through and read the entire things, but this is so totally the tower card. Okay, so a major change happening here. Now, let me pull two more cards here. Messages for love from the Romance Angels deck. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay. Chaos sometimes precedes creation. And if there's a pregnancy here that's a surprise, it will be a shock for some but it will turn into a beautiful acceptance and celebration. I just felt like I needed to tell you that. Um, okay, you deserve love. You are lovable. Somebody needed to hear that. <laughs> I'm not sure who. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because there's an energy of someone's just trying to control their love life in order to gain approval in love but this is just telling me that you know you are lovable no matter what no matter what happens no matter who you think you are today or who you think you are not today because every day is different some days we're up some days we're down some days we're feeling on top of the world some days we're like why did I even get out of bed no matter what happens just let life unfold and let it do its thing but you stay on the steady course because no matter what you are lovable and that was just like a little thing <laughs> all right so Sagittarius I'm going to end your reading there we went on quite a while and I just was listening to the reading and I just looked up at my timer and it said 33 minutes and 30 seconds so three 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 the threes are significant for you guys in February something maybe February 3rd or February 1st something between February 1st and the 3rd I don't know if something happens let me know leave me a comment on that date all right I will talk to you soon all right bye